Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. It was a night of emotion, fun, at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago last night. As the ceremonial roll call of the delegates from each state happened, a Happen and DJ played different songs for each state. Arizona's song was The Edge of 17 by Phoenix native Stevie Nicks, which I thought was a little creepy because I was under the mistaken impression that Edge of 17 is about a woman falling in love with a boy who's on the edge of 17. But it's not. It's about Stevie's uncle and John Lennon's death, which happened within days of each other. Still not exactly the uplifting song for our state, right? Well, Michelle Obama hit the right notes as she took the stage last night and delivered some hits on Donald Trump. Before her was second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, who's hoping to be promoted to first gentleman, which would make him the first first gentleman ever. He he did his job well, painting his wife Kamala Harris as a kind but tough, fun but also serious, strong woman. And he told a cute little story about being set up on a blind date with her and how he left a dorky message on her voicemail at 8.30 in in the morning, a voicemail that He claims she plays back on their wedding anniversary every year. But the real star of the night was former President Barack Obama, who proved once again why he was not only known as Commander-in-Chief when he and Michelle lived in the White House, he was also known as Orator-in-Chief. I didn't agree with a lot of what President Obama did policy-wise, but last night he felt like a comfortable old sweater that I know Democrats wish could run for a third and a fourth term. And when Obama talked about the divide in this country, It was the best of Obama's best, and his best last night was pretty damn good. Good enough to realize that here in Chicago, where he started his political career, you could fully understand that when he was merrily a state senator, somebody pointed at him and said he could be our first black president. And that's exactly what he was groomed for. Tonight, the man who used to be referred to as America's first black president because of his policies, Bill Clinton, will take the stage tonight, all leading up to the nominating speech of the person Democrats hope becomes the first black woman president, Kamala Harris. That's not why you're expected to vote for her, though, as we've been reminded many times at the Democratic National Convention. But maybe, maybe they might want to mention it a couple more times so that Donald Trump is clear about the racial identity of his opponent. I'm Jim Sharp, live in Chicago. Join me for our special show live from the DNC starting at 1215 this afternoon here on KTAR. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.